Hey everybody, my name is Adam. Today I got a really, really interesting user question. So this question was asked to me in an email as a response to a workshop that I had done. So the question is, how do I apply a gradient effect? So in the example that this user gave, he wanted to apply a blur from essentially the bottom of his image uh, to the top of his image, but he wanted that blur to appear as a gradient in essence, one side to be very strong and the other side to have little or no effect. This is a great question. Uh, it's a simple one to answer uh, and I would love to sort of go into more depth on this question for this user. So today we're gonna to be talking about gradients and how they relate to adjustment layers. Let's open an image in edit mode. We're going to blur the foreground in our image. To do this, let's add a blur adjustment layer. It's located here. Next, let's increase the strength of the blur. This will help us get a feel for the severity of the effect. To add a gradient, we will use the gradient tool in our mask thumbnail. Click on the thumbnail and then make sure that your foreground color and background color are set to black white or white black in the color picker. The gradient tool is a fill tool next to the paint bucket. With the tool active, click on the center of the image and draw the tool downwards. You can hold shift to make sure that the tool operates at a 90 degree angle, which is quite handy. Make sure to click on the green commit button. This will finalize the process. Once you've clicked on it, you will see the mask thumbnail filled. Navigate to another tool, such as the hand tool. In this instance, we have the background blurred and the foreground in focus. We are going to invert this mask. To make an inversion, click on the mask and click the invert button that comes up underneath the mask properties. Next, let's adjust the blur amount. To adjust the blur, click on the blur icon or the word blur itself. Next, let's find the correct amount of blur. I like a healthy amount at around 37. I think it works pretty well for this image. Next, let's quickly apply a clarity adjustment and do the same process. I'm going to increase the clarity slider and the Orton slider. I'll click on the mask once again and navigate to the gradient slider. I'll click commit after I've made a gradient and you will see that the clarity adjustment appears in the mask. Note that the white area of the clarity mask appears in the background, which is intentional. I can click on the word clarity or the clarity icon to adjust the values once again. Please like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon. Most importantly, please comment with a suggestion of what you'd like me to cover next. Take care.